In this guide, we have a little bit of an interesting exercise to finish out. So right here, we have a test, and it says that our system, our new method, needs to return the longest word from an array. And that may not seem like a big deal, because let's say, for example, we were asked to build this, and we have an array, and we could do something like this if we if every element in the array was its own word. So if it was was its own word, this is going to generate an array where every element is a word all to itself. And so we could do something like this where I could say array dot max by and then using the ampersand syntax I could just say length and what this is going to do is it's going to find the max element by and it's going to base this off of the length of each element so word is the longest or largest word in the array so that seems like a pretty simple thing to do however we don't always have a situation where every array element only contains a single word. So take for example what we have here. We have the first element contains two words. The next element in the array contains three and the third element contains two words. So say that we were to take this and we were to replace our other array with this one. Now if we try to run this code we're gonna see something a little bit different. So right here, it doesn't return a single word. Instead, it returns the element that has the most characters. But this is not the largest word. The largest word in this collection is actually the word sentence. So that is what we want to, uh, to result in, but it's not going to do that because right now, Link looks at elements by themselves. So this is only part of the equation. So I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to take this or this element down here because this is close to what we need. It's not exactly everything though. So let's come down here and we first have to open up the array class and the reason we have to do that is if you come to the expectation you can see that we're expected to build a method that can be called directly on an array. So whenever we see that we know that this is expecting an actual method to be added to the array class and this is going to be called largest word. It's not going to take any arguments because it's in the array class we can simply pass this method to any array. Now with that in mind I'm just going to take this max by method and this isn't going to be everything we need but because we have access to the array and we can call it then we can simply add this in. Now what we need to do prior to calling max by is we need a way of being able to separate the words inside of this array. So how exactly can we do that? Well if I do array and then call map on the array I could use the ampersand syntax and call split now this would kind of work. So if I run this, you can see that this now split, splits each item into its own element, but this isn't everything we need because right here you can see that the first element is now its own array and the words are elements inside of these nested arrays. So this is not going to give us what we need because if we tried to call max by length on this, it's not going to work. It's simply going to be looking at the array elements instead of everything inside. So essentially what we need to do is we need to flatten this so that each one of these sub elements is now included in the parent array. Thankfully we have a very cool little method here called flat map. So instead of just the regular map we can call flat map on it then call split and so what's going to happen is it's going to map over the elements and when it's done it's going to flatten them into a single array. So if we run this you can see that now the result of this is a single array with no nested elements and or I should say no nested arrays inside of it. It simply has 
each one of the words broken into a single element all by itself. So now with all of this in place, this is all we need to get this working. So I'm going to bring this up here. And so we want to call flat map, call split on it. Then from there, we're going to chain max by with length and this should work. So now if I call array and pass in the method largest word, this should now return the sentence right here. And as you can see, that's exactly what it does. So essentially what this went and did is it took in an array, it broke down each one of the words because we called split here it broke down each one of the words into its own array and then from there it flattened all of those nested arrays into a single one and that gave us the ability to call max by on it pass in length to find the longest word the longest element in that array and that returned what we were looking for so let me save this and let's take a look to see if this passes all of our tests. So if I say February 24th and run this, you can see that we have one example, zero failures. So that is how you can find the largest word in an array, even when that array has multiple word kind of elements.